Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play Fran Battle. When we left off, we escaped the evil, or not quite evil, but tree world um, of Ethersta, and now we are back in the regular world, and I'm gonna talk to Mr. Midnight, I guess. Alright, kitty, do we have a plan? Get home, dear. At least, that's plan A. Plan A? I like it. Let's do it, kitty. Okay, what what is here? Right behind you. Oh, her pills. Oh, but where are they going? Uh, we're about to... Something's going... Home? Really? Really? I guess home is in that direction. Pills don't move. Uh -huh. You want me to show you... Uh, you want to show me the way back home? This is like the most... Yeah. Duh. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, friend. Bad, bad. What, what? Knife? There we go. I got a bloody knife with me, because that's safe. <laughs> you alright, Mr. Midnight? Oh! Hi again! Fran? You're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back. You see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? <laughs> no, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by ne they never looked into themselves? They blamed me, instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. <coughs> take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. Alright, you seem nice. Friend, something is clearly skewed with the way you judge people and look at things. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you just yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Don't step on Mr. Midnight, you jerk. You lanky little skeleton man. Uh, well, we're not going in that, are we? Behold! The Itward flying machine! What do you think? It's alright, but can it really fly? <laughs> yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home! We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not even 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter Ultra Reality. Inside the Ultra Reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing on endless limits of second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait! Of course not! You can help by getting water and fire berries. All right. <laughs> I'll wait here. All right. It's better I do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great. Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Handmade. <coughs> Weird. Uh uh. And the fire berries. You will realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do we need berries and water? <laughs> Well, the berries are incredibly good fuel, and they last many, many hours. And the water's to get rid of the dirt. The cal... Kamalas. Oh, 
Kamala's. I see. I hope they don't f uh, come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water. Yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes? Mm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes. About that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in like one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. And pills. Yeah, that looks that looks so wonderful. This right here, this looks all kinds of legit. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. What is wrong with you? You are the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Wow, so much hair and so shiny. I feel like a magical world of hair. Okay, I feel like what what is what is this? Hell, huh? Oh, okay. Gotcha. I thought I was going home. Get out. Get out. You're trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me? I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it. Teresa's fireberries, which are actually right here and I didn't know that until we started talking. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's, let's not climb a dead moose, please. No, 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 no. We're not. I think we need water. God, that's so weird. What is this? I wonder why Palantros gave me this. I can't open it. Okay. Hi. Hello. Or, oh, sorry, I think this might be the lady. Or, er, Fran. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on the trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Why is that a thing? Can I go over here? Uh, this is very odd. When we fell into a thirst, there was no water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door to Athursa is underwater. I don't know. Can I? Can't reach the water from here. Okay, can I throw this in there? Um, okay. Can I go anywhere else? I wonder if these bears are good to eat. Even if they are, I can't reach them. Kitty could climb and get them, but he will know how to get down. 
Hey. Hello, scavengers. Deedle worm, sir, will you come visit me when I die? I always come to visit those who time has left behind. Don't worry. That sounds good. We'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. You. Um, can I cut it? I don't I don't know what else I can really do. Use the knife. Um Um Well Hmm, I wonder if I can... I need some of this hair. I really do. Oh! Okay, so I can be up here without the pills and I can cut them down now, right? There we go. Before they're on fire. Awesome. Okay, so now let's freaking... Go back to creepy world. Alright, now what? Can I, can I give you some? No, um, okay. Alright, whatever. I don't know what they're saying, but it still sounds really creepy. Okay, here you go, it word. Here's some fireberries. Sir, I bought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent! They would use us fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Okay. So, now back to square one. I need to figure out how to get the freaking... Can I... I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. I don't know, but can we cut, like, the tree down? Uh, there's gotta be something I can do. I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane! Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as rope. Please, help me. Oh, well that's easy. I thought I'd like cut it off and use, it that, use that for like a rope or something, but they're just gonna help me anyways. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. That's just weird. Uh. Thanks. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, uh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry. I really don't understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Okay. Bucket's full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. Okay. Sure. Here you go, buddy. Alright, so we got both now. We got the bucket and the fire berries. Sir Edward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them. Uh, only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They could burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there? Maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. This is just so weird. Mr. Midnight, this is weird. I don't like it. 
Hurry up, please. Oh, I was gonna say, if you don't make it. What kind of machine is this? It's 236. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? It sounds exciting. Palantronus told me about different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Huh. That sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. <laughs> if it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say... Through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious, and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you could do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the water pump working again, and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to any room uh, you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Mm, but I've never done anything like this before. It makes it exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. Maybe I should push the button. Up. Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, I know you. Okay, bye. Reality view, unreality view. Chemical mixture. Oh my god. Micronutrients in the fire barriers to supercharge the engine to ensure it lasts forever. Oh my god, I can't even read that. Huh? I guess if the light is red, it's not working. Totally empty. Okay, that must be where the fire berries go. I would assume. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. I really like the design. It's very understandable. It's it's not though. Hmm, are those to drink water? They seem quite small. Maybe they're for very small amounts of water. Maybe they're for very thin people. Maybe, but not really. Base has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it here. Can I take medicine in here, too? Well, that answers that question. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. That's, that's not creepy at all. Oh, yay! Hi! A little key, I wonder what it's for, I don't know. Oh, please don't smile like that. Are you... Are you here to kill Itward? Hello? Why won't you talk to me? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. Indeed it does. Lovely bears, they hold each other's hands. This looks like a mathematical problem, but I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Hey, look! It's a picture of the King Zyar. I recognize him. Hmm. I see now. They're friends. That's good. It makes me want to trust Itward. Does it, though? There are many women's shoes, too. Maybe Itward likes them? Of course, why not? They're pretty. That's weird. The door is closed. Maybe it can open it later. Oh, there's a ladder here? The ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. 
I wonder what kind of thing uh, this machine counts. It doesn't have any wires. How does it work? Edward's technology is very amazing. Okay, well. It looks like I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with this in the next episode. Because I have no idea what I'm doing here. So I will wander around and try to figure out how to get this machine to work. So that we can move forward and get back home. Or to hell. I'm not quite sure where we're going. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next time, AMJ. Let's go. So what, now we're just in some freaking woods that, like, we're going to be eaten? That's wonderful. Uh. Oh. Oh! We gotta, like, freaking jump! And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like the Frogger game. I guess, like, every time you go between worlds, you play a game? There we go. My jump time is different than Mr. Midnight's. But all I gotta do is click, so I'll be okay. <laughs>